Chinese Muslim Masjid in Malaysia. Assalamualaikum. Today we are in Klang visiting a Chinese Muslim Masjid just built recently. And this is our brother Rizwan. Yeah. Uh, he's the first Chinese Malaysian Muslim that I met in person. He's also doing the content about Islam. Uh, later we're gonna have more conversation about his journey to Islam and his restaurant. But before that, let's start the Masjid tour. Oh, this is the Zhou Bi. Wow, it's really Chinese traditional thing. And this is the last sermon of Nabi Muhammad. Oh, yeah. And this is my friend, Shafiq. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. Welcome, welcome. 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 He can speak fluent <laughs> Chinese. Masjid Jami, China Muslim Klang. So it's like Chinese Muslim of uh, the Klang Chinese Muslim Mosque. Uh, so Masjid Jami. So in Malaysia, we have different Masjid and Masjid Jami. When you say Masjid Jami, it means it has Friday prayer. So this is Masjid Jami. So this is the fifth Chinese mosque in the whole of Malaysia and is actually copied, inspired from the great mosque of Xi'an. So if you know the great mosque in Xi'an, the Hui Mingjie over there, so you can see some similarities and a lot of striking features that is probably taken or inspired from that same mosque, okay? So without further ado, let's go inside. You can see uh, already there is no Arabic, there is no Malay. It's, you are greeted with the Chinese, 100% uh, Chinese characters over here. So actually, I, I just spoke to some of the few jama'ah, the Malay people. Uh, many people don't know that this is a mosque. Still, oh. because of outside, this place Look. looks 100%. There is no dome, there is no moon, there is no stars, there is no uh, Arabic minaret. So even some of the local are actually still thinking, wondering, is it a mosque or is it uh, temple. a temple? <laughs> and when they come here also, you see... The door. Even the door is like... Like the Chinese old story, old movie, yeah. uh, and then the, the words are all in Chinese. What is it? Zhen Zhu Zhi Da. Yeah, Zhen Zhu Zhi Da. So, Allahu Akbar. So, now you are welcome by a Chinese courtyard. So, from here, you can see even the this arc. Uh, so, start with here. So, we see Xiu Shen Yang Xing, Ming Li, Jing Shen Da Zhen, Da Zhen Dao. Okay, it means like uh, we have to behave ourselves. Okay, uh, with the teaching of Nabi Muhammad, okay, and then we spread the the peace, the religion of Islam to more people, and then the second verse is Jing Zhu Ai Ren Qi E Yang Shan Chuan Zhen Li. Okay, so it's similar to the first verse, but the second verse is more on like uh, we have to uh, uh, submit ourselves to the one true God, Allah. And then we have to love all the human being, no matter you are Muslim, non-Muslim, Malay, Chinese, Indian, uh, or any races. So we love everyone, and then we 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 hate uh, something uh, which is evil, and then uh, we need to do uh, the good deeds and spread the truth to everyone. I saw your video. You just came back from the the actual Xi'an mosque. Yeah, yeah. from one thousand three hundred years <laughs> so, ago. Yeah. So you can compare 1,300 years ago, but here this mosque is not historical, so it's very new actually. But why? Uh, when we say Masjid China, so the Chinese mosque, for the local, we are now in Malaysia, okay? Malaysia is 63% Malay people. That in Malaysia, generally when say people say Muslim, it refers to the Malay people. Mm. When people go say, okay, I'm going to become Muslim or you want to become a Malay. So there is this stigma that becoming Muslim is becoming a certain race or becoming a certain a group of people uh, so it creates different opinions among the people so one of the reason when we want to build the masjid china so one of the striking important thing that the point that we want to get across to people is china received islam way earlier than the malay actually and this is one of the manifestation when you come here oh everything is like look at the dome look at this is like a pagoda so malay they only know Ch Masjid in the Malay culture. Yeah. They don't know like how Masjid looks like in China uh, for the Chinese people. By building this mosque, it creates something that is new, like a fresh, uh, fresh image. Oh, actually, China have lots of Muslim. Chinese Masjid is a Masjid as well. So the design is not have to be Arabic design. So mosque can have Chinese design, can have Malay design, Indian design. Arabic design, Moorish design, a mosque 
what is a mosque. So today, when we give them a tour of this place, we remind the Muslim and non-Muslim, a mosque, first and foremost, is a place to worship. So what makes it Chinese? So when you go to a restaurant, what is the difference between Chinese restaurant and normal restaurant or mama restaurant? Uh, so a mosque is the same, like you, it's all a place to eat. For most, it's all, when you say masjid, automatically you understand this is a place to worship. pray, worship. to worship, to pray. Uh, so what makes it Chinese? What makes it Malay? What makes it Arabic? It's the culture, the design, architecture. Hmm. Uh, so in, in Islam, it doesn't have anything that goes against uh, culture and architecture as long it doesn't have, it doesn't go against the principle of Islam. For example, we don't have like any